Mintra Beauty fam. This is Diksha Sajdev. Welcome back to Mintra's YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day because I have to get ready for a brunch date, and I'm going to get ready in literally 10 minutes. But first, I need to spill some tea. I'm going on a date after three years. I'm nervous, but still very excited. Let's dive right into it. I like my base to look very hydrated and juicy and for that reason I'm going to prep my skin really really well using the Lakme Lumi cream. It's basically a moisturizer with highlighter. Taking that much and just applying it all over my face like a moisturizer. I really like this primer because it is a great dupe firstly for the MAC strobe cream. It looks very pretty on your skin. For my base I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Fresh tint in the shade 05. This is a staple product in my vanity for the summers because it has vitamin C and SPF 15. What I like to do is I just like to sweep it across my skin like that and then I will be taking my foundation brush and just blend it out. I just go in with my beauty sponge and take away the excess product and make sure that I don't have any brush strokes. Now for concealer I'm using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 25 medium. I don't want to highlight my face today. I just want to conceal it. So I'm using this shade to conceal my under eye tad bit around my mouth. I make sure I don't touch my under eye ka concealer pehle so that it has some time to settle onto my skin and once it settles it gives me more coverage once i have kept this on for about 30 to 40 seconds i'm just going to blend it out i like to blend out the outer corner first and then moving on to the edges like so once the edges have been blended out really nicely that's when i move in towards the main area where i have the most discoloration lastly take a blender and just blend it out taking away the excess product since it's summers and i sweat quite a lot i want my base to be sweat proof and waterproof and to do that i'll be using the maybelline fit me loose setting powder it's in the shade 15 light so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and i have recently started pressing my powder in my face so i just look up so that there are no creases and just press it into my skin i'm not necessarily baking i'm just going to press the powder into my skin like so all right That's how it looks like. Even though my base is set, set, it doesn't look matte. It still looks very dewy. Now, one step I really like to add is uh, melting my powders with my creams and liquids. And for that, I'll be using a setting spray. I'm using the NYX Professional Matte Finish Fini Matte 16 Hour Wear Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just gonna shake it first and give four to five good spritz to my skin. That's it. Let it dry. Now till this product dries out, I'm going to do my brows. For brows, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 05. I don't like to do a lot to my brows, just brushing them, making sure that the shape is correct. Wherever there is not a lot of hair, I'm going to fill those areas in and then brush it through. Nothing too crazy, just fill the sparse areas. Now when it comes to my eyes I like the discoloration that I have so I let it be. I consider that as my eye shadow. That's a little hack that you can do. Moving on to the eyeliner, I really like the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. Okay, what I like to do is just flick, just extend the lower bit of my eye out and then connect it. It's very tiny. Looks like my eye has been slightly elevated, but at the same time it looks very natural. I'm not going to take it all the way in. Just going to leave it there. I'm going to line. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other end. Be right back. 
All right, I'm done. That's how it looks like. Looks very chill, casual. Next, I wanna open my eyes even further, and for that, I'm using the Mac Stack mascara. It's in the shade Black Stack. I will curl my lashes first with a lash curler, and I will just apply it through the roots. Okay, so I wanna apply it through the root, and first, I just move it in a straighter direction so that i get length and then i'm just going to wiggle it only uh, at the roots so that i get volume and this portion doesn't get clumpy now that the structure is all ready i like to have uh, a little bit of color on my face and for that i'm using a blush now i don't necessarily use a cream blush in summers because it just wears off from my face uh, so i like using a powder blush instead today i'm using the color bar cheek illusion blush in the shade sweet scarlet and i'm just going to take a little bit of it top of the excess i like to use this contour brush and just hug my cheekbone with it and i also like to add a little bit on my nose for that sun kissed effect and so that everything looks a little more cohesive i just like to add it here on the temples just to make it look a little more cohesive and a little bit on the nose as well for lips i'm using the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade leon and this is my absolute favorite shade. I have literally completed like three uh, tubes of this, and I love it. It has this velvet mousse-like texture, which uh, goes on, glides on really well, and then it dries out after some time, and it doesn't leave your lips looking chapped. It's it's a very velvety, nice, soft matte finish. Lastly, again, I'm going to take my NYX setting spray and spray it on my face before the last step. Let it dry out a little bit. Last step to add that glow, I'm using the Mac Hyper Real Glow Highlighter Palette, and I'm taking this center shade right here. It's a rose gold shade. It looks beautiful on uh, neutral to warmer skin tones, and I'm just going to apply it on the high points. See. It just adds that sheen. If you want to build it up, you can. Make it look extravagant. I like to keep it slightly on the subtle side. I'll also add a little bit on my brow bone. There we go. It's done. Uh, it's so easy to create this look. It's very casual, very chill. Also, it's very summery because of the blush. Uh, it looks. It just adds that sun-kissed effect. I'm going to wear this white dress and be right back. You guys, that's the outfit. Looks stunning. I love wearing white for dates. The main thing that you want to keep in mind is be confident. Be whatever makeup you do, however you dress up, just be confident and feel like yourself, you know. And with this look, with this outfit, I just feel like my absolute 100% authentic self. Uh, and that's why I really like this look. So that's it for the look. All of these products that I've used and the outfit and the watch is available on Mitra. It's going to be there in the description. So make sure to check it out. Apart from that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to make that Mitra switch right now. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you all in the next one.